essentially what happened was uh, there were 10 men who were at their place of work. They were sex workers in male-to-male -male, uh, sex work trade at a place called Sizzlers in Seapoint and in their place of work conducting their business and these two individuals arrived at the location, uh, Adam Vust and Trevor Tace. And what followed was really uh, a nightmare that no one could imagine. Um, you know, there was three hours of torture. The perpetrators claimed that it was a robbery that went wrong, but we could clearly see from the evidence that wasn't correct. And um, unfortunately, nine of the victims ended up losing their lives and one man, Quentin Taylor, survived. Can you talk to us about your fascination about true crime and your aspiration in penning this book? Sure. So I, I really think, you know, looking back, it started even when I was a child, I was interested in mystery books, um, you know, and then as, as I became a teenager, it became more true crime and watching documentaries and reading books in the genre. And I was in the corporate world for 20 years, different you know, management roles, and then decided to try something a bit more creative. I'd always listened to true crime podcasts myself because it was something that had fascinated me. I think from a psychological point of view, both on the victim side and the perpetrator side. And I saw that really South Africa didn't have its own true crime podcast. And some of the podcasts overseas were doing really great work in bringing in new leads on cold cases and things like that. So I started True Crime South Africa and that exploded and has done really, really well. Um, and that's resulted in um, a book contract for my first book, which was Samurai Sword. And then more recently, Sizzlers, which was really a case that I was inspired to write predominantly because of the injustice that continues today with the parole system around that case.